Alright, let's get started with the tutorial, shall we? First off, you're gonna dig out uh, two blocks in the floor and place your two normal pistons facing upwards. Dig out four blocks in this direction, two blocks to the right, and place some wire in this trench that you dug out. And have this wire come out in front of this piston. Place the block right over here. Now we're gonna put our sticky piston right over there. Normal piston facing up. Two blocks next to it and sticky piston right over there. Facing forward and then normal piston facing up. So this is gonna be the start for our design. And now we're gonna continue hooking it up. Dig out this block over here and replace it with glowstone. Yes. Uh, place some wire right over here, curve it forward, place a block, put a repeater in front of that, put a tick on it, place another block, and then another block. And then you're gonna place a repeater in front of here with four ticks. Take out this block, put a torch on here, and put a block on top of that. Place a torch on that block, and place a block on that torch on top of it. Okay, next uh, we're gonna place a block right here, close some block, and we're just gonna build this out until we reach the front. Place two blocks here, block right over there, and we're gonna keep continue wiring it. Why it goes right over here. Here goes a repeater with three ticks of delay and a repeater without delay. So that's the difference between the right side and left side. And how does it work? Uh, basically, this torch turns on and it will power this block, power will go through here and will activate this first. And then uh, this should be kept uh, with a block like that. Um, then we have the same design right over here and it should power that later because that's repeater and it's gonna be right over here as four ticks. So yeah, that's how it works. Every level has uh, a tick difference on the left and the right side. And every time this torch goes up two blocks, it will also have two ticks. So you will have to continue you'll keep wiring it. But first we're gonna continue building this. Um, this is the base. Now it becomes repetitive. So let's just uh, finish this side off and let's start working on the repetitive part. So, yeah, sticky piston right over here, a normal piston there, facing upwards. Uh, the wire goes right over here, then a block, a uh, repeater in front of it, one tick of delay, then this one I placed already before, four ticks of delay, and two blocks right over there. Now, let's just uh, copy this part over here, and then copy that part over here. So you just copy the left side, and then build up one, and copy the right side. So, yeah, we're gonna fill this part in. Fill this in, piece of glowstone right over there, sticky piston facing forward, uh, oh, no, some blocks right over here, sticky piston facing forward, normal piston facing up, um, repeater with two ticks extra, so three ticks in total, um, wire goes right around here, block in front of it, a repeater without uh, any ticks extra, so one tick, and two more blocks. And we can actually test this design out already by putting a button on there, hitting it, and you will see it goes up and everything extends. So now we are gonna keep extending this. Make sure you also keep building this part up so that the the current is being processed upwards, being pushed or whatever being directed upwards. Yeah, that's a good word for it. So, first off, we're gonna make this a uh, little redstone snake thing. Yeah, I don't really know what it's called. It's like a zigzag line, but on every other block, a torch facing left. Or, or right. Okay, <laughs> this I think this is uh, quite some height, so let's just go build it towards this height. Gonna copy over this part. Fill this all in. Uh, place a sticky piston. Not there, right up there. Normal piston facing up. Uh, two blocks in front of here, block right there. Uh, some wire right over there. 
repeater, 4 ticks, repeater, 1 tick, extra, 2 ticks in total. Then we're gonna fill this up. And don't forget the piece of glowstone again, really important. And I'm gonna quickly tell you why you gotta place that piece of glowstone there. Well, what it does basically is... Um, this is every other level, and just gonna apply it like that. Oh, come on. Okay, let's just place the torch right over here, place a wire right over there. And you can see the. Because of the glowstone, the wire goes through this block. So, actually, two floors are powered by just one torch. And this isn't powered, so yeah, it will continue up every level like that. And what we did to power it is by just placing a torch um, right over there on the side of the block. See, that will power that side and this side. So this uh, that's why there is a difference in delay also. So if you place another torch right over there, place a block place a torch and place a block on top of it, you will see a uh, block, not a piston, you will see this is being powered. But it's not being powered if you take for example out the bottom block. So this is not no longer powered. So every every torch will just activate two sides of this. But let's continue building it because uh, some of you might still not know the really how to build it. So yeah, let's just Make the platforms. Don't forget the glowstone. Glowstone is right over there. Uh, block right over there. Block right over there. See? That's basically the basis for every level. Then, uh, sticky piston, sticky piston, normal piston facing upwards, and also one over there. Gonna put the wire in first so yeah, you can see the difference between uh, the repeaters. This should have. One tick, this should have two ticks, this should have three ticks, and this should have four ticks. And now we can copy it up, another level. Fill this part in. Fill this part in, and don't forget the piece of glowstone over there. And let's just fill this part in too. Remove that, not necessary. Okay, block right over there, block, uh, two blocks actually in front of here, two blocks right over there, one block there, sticky pistons, um, normal pistons, repeater, no tick, repeater, one tick, <laughs> no tick, this is one tick, and this is two ticks, repeater with three ticks, repeater with four ticks, the maximum, and the wire. And I think we should have enough for just one more level. If I see, yeah, there's one more level we can reach. So, yeah, let's start with placing this close down and just filling this whole thing up. Place two blocks right over here, one block right over there. And let's just fill this whole thing up. And one block right over there, two blocks right over there. And let's put in our sticky pistons again. This should be there. I misplaced accidentally. Okay, normal pistons facing up again. One tick, um, two ticks, three ticks, and four ticks. Then the redstone wire right over there and right over there. So, yeah, that's it. And if you want to keep it up, with uh well first let's just ride it uh, but before we're gonna ride it you want to place uh, some glass in front of here so you cannot be pushed out by the pistons because the pistons will uh, do that if you don't place any glass in front of it so yeah I will show you what happens if you don't do it let's click it and we are gonna be pushed out but if you place glass right here uh, you can just ride this elevator upwards and yeah, just make it uh, as high until you reach the top of the elevator. For example, right over here, this is almost the top. And let's ride it. Okay, so that's the elevator. If you want to make something funky with it, um, you should grab uh, your redstone lamps. And you can place them right in front of these repeaters. 
in right also right over there over there and I accidentally forgot that replace it right over there and let's see what kind of effect it does uh, yeah I'm gonna replace these two with uh, redstone lamps and it has a uh, quite a funky effect if you for example click it you see every block lights up at the moment the piston is being pushed out so yeah I like this effect it's just uh, aesthetical not necessary for this design but it looks pretty cool though okay um, next up, you want to have the top part, uh, these two pistons that will push you off once you reach the top. And let's just ride it. Um, these just, oh, sorry, I didn't stand in the middle, I guess. Yeah, now I'm in the middle. Really important that you stay in the middle if you want to use this. Um, yeah, if you want to continue that, um, I usually build one more layer right over here. Fill this whole thing up. A uh, bit of, yeah, I'll just leave this out for now. Just gonna continue making the top, fill this up, and this and a piece of glowstone right over there. Then we're gonna place our wire. Uh, oh, come on, repeaters in your place. Three ticks, um, now actually make this four ticks. And yeah, why four ticks, you wanna say? Something that I found out before. If you make this uh, three ticks, sometimes this piston will not pull back. Don't really know why it happens, but I fixed it by adding another tick to this piston. See, and now it it pulls back at time in time. Can I do it one more time? You see, it's getting pulled back just a little bit later. I think it's because some kind of butt specs is acting up because this wire right over there. But um, yeah, let's go build this top part. Um, I extended this part a little bit outwards. Place another sticky piston and a normal piston for that. And then a block right over there and a block right over there. And the wire goes right over there. Don't forget to put uh, four ticks on this one. Instead of the usual three ticks that goes on the left side. Just fill this part up. Um, continue building this upwards. So one up and then one in this direction and let's place a block right over there and this should be close on instead of a redstone lamp. <laughs> fill, fill, fill. There we go. Why I should go back and done. I don't even think that close on is necessary but yeah, should be. So um, next on you wanna uh, place a block right over there and then you're gonna place a repeater right over here put maximum delay on it place a block in front of it and then we're gonna build up a bit and build up a bit more until we are uh, two blocks above the slated last piston we're gonna put two normal pistons right over here put the wire all over this and that should activate it so let's just test it out and see if it does uh, gonna build this glass a little bit higher up otherwise we are getting pushed out by these pistons we don't want that so yeah that's the, the top level gonna cap it off a little bit make it a bit nicer All right Thunder strike. Actually, it's raining. It's night. I'm just gonna turn off the rain for now. Okay, let's test it out. And let's go up here. You see, we're getting pushed up, and we gonna we are being pushed out of the elevator. So you don't fall down again once you reach the top. That's actually something that can happen. And if you are not on creative, it will hurt you. And most of you aren't on creative when building something like it. For example, let's demonstrate it. Ouch! I could have died. So yeah, that's funny. I hope you liked this tutorial. If you couldn't follow it, just watch it again and repeat watching it. I think I explained it quite enough, so it shouldn't be that hard to follow. Um, yeah, shout out to Bear Squirrel who uh, helped me out with uh, Redstone on a tree farm. He saw some. Um, 
another thing, this design is being made by Browser Steel. If you forgot it, check out this channel. Anyways, I don't want to take credit for the elevator itself. I just tweaked it a bit and used the new glowstone setup for better performance on it and better redstone. So yeah, if you like it, feel free to comment, subscribe, like, whatever. Don't really like sh giving shoutouts, but it will help me out growing my channel. So yeah, that's what I'm doing it for. See you later. Have a nice day. Goodbye.